Executive Director, Dr. Martin Authority, Professor Jerome, our dear sponsors in the room, dear contestants, all protocols observed. Good morning. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to be here today as we mark the end of this university challenge for the nation. I say we are marking the end, but I think it's the beginning, rather. Because most of you guys who have been uh, com competing, you are only starting your journey with capital markets, business, and the industry. So, having said that, the main objective of this challenge from the beginning has been to introduce you to the capital market industry to get you exposed to what the industry has to offer. It's a lot. So that's why I say it. It's a beginning. Today's ceremony is just a closing ceremony of one competition, but it's another journey. Some of you, because I have to also be honest, it's not all of you who are going to embark on capital market business journey. But guess what? Those of you who will not be uh, joining the industry of financial services, uh, you will be missing a big opportunity. However, you can't get away from it. Guess what? Whether in the capital market as we know it or we are told it is, you will some way or another be looking for capital to start a business one day. Some of you will be entrepreneurs. Some of you will be professionals in the industry or in supportive sectors to the industry. And some of you, actually all of you hopefully, will be future investors if you, already, you are not already investors in the market. So this challenge basically was organized for that. I'm glad uh, the Capital Market Authority has been uh, at the forefront of it. The Stock Exchange, EPRN, ISEC, really I would want you to give them a round of applause. Because for the first time it has been organized uh, and it has included more than 20 universities and we are expecting 400 at least investment clubs because we would like to have many, as many as possible in the country and that's our purpose. So basically I think uh, mine was a welcome note and uh, I wish we continue the discussion going forward and uh, in concluding my opening remarks, I would like to invite you to all be participants in the industry, in this industry of ours, because it's a very, very crucial industry in everyday life of our citizens. Thank you very much. of applause, ladies and gentlemen, once again. Uh, once again, I would like to thank so much the CEO of Rwanda Stock Exchange, who is also a very big sponsor of this Rwanda Capital Markets University Challenge, the fourth edition of 2017, ladies and gentlemen. Would like also to remind everyone in this such a great event, which is bringing us to the finals of the Capital Markets University Challenge 2017, fourth edition. Would like to thank the Capital Markets Authority, the Randall Stock Exchange, and of course, 
EVRN and definitely the ISEC International, which has managed to put all this event together in all the different provinces we've moved and the big tournament we've been having since the provinces to the Kigali City Finals. A hand of applause to all the big supporters and sponsors towards this uh, great event. Now, ladies and gentlemen, also allow me to remind you that we are having Twitter handles uh, and we are also having different social media handles that we are using. Uh, it's a hashtag, UniChallenge RW, and of course you can visit uh, at ISEC in Rwanda, and of course at EPRN, and of course uh, the one of the Capital Market University Channel, which is at Capital uh, at CMA. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, without taking a lot of time, I would like to remind you about the journey that we've been having. This Capital Market University Challenge has put together 23 universities with 48 teams, ladies and gentlemen. And today in the house, we are having only and only six teams that are coming from different universities and different provinces, ladies and gentlemen. We have been one from the south, we have been one from the east, we have been one from the north, one from the west, and ladies and gentlemen, we have been two of them from Kigali. I know some of you are going to be there, that wasn't fair. But ladies and gentlemen, the truth was, Kigali contestants were a half of the teams that we had even in the province. And ladies and gentlemen, as we are presenting to you the teams that have managed to come uh, to the finals, ladies and gentlemen, allow me uh, to bring together all these teams uh, so that they get to start also their addresses, ladies and gentlemen. It is, of course, the Capital Market University Challenge 2017. And it's being put together with Capital Markets Authority, together with the Rwanda Stock Exchange, and of course, with the EPRN, and definitely with ISEC International. Now, ladies and gentlemen, without taking so long, I would like to request my judges to allow me to share with them the numbers. Number 29. Number 44, number 45, number 61, and then number 100. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as it's always a fair game, it's their questions that they've selected. Question number 29. Question number 29 goes, if my countdown is ready, Eurobonds are placed for buying and selling in private markets by A. Investment banks B. Commercial banks C. Euro transfer agencies D. Currency deposit banks What's the answer? Just A. A is correct, ladies and gentlemen. We're going for question number 44. Question number 44 goes. Bonds issued by corporations and exposed to defaults risks are classified as A. Corporation bonds B. Default bonds C. Risk bonds D. Zero risk bonds What's the answer? It is A. A is wrong ladies and gentlemen. We are going for this question to the other university. Bonds issued by corporations and exposed so default risks are classified as A. Corporation bonds B. Default bonds C. Risk bonds D. Zero risk bonds What's the answer? C. C is wrong ladies and gentlemen that means we are drawing this question to be lost and we are bringing question number 45 EX is Regional Commodity Exchange offering commodity trade services in Rwanda launched in A. March 2010 B. May 2015 C. July 2014 D. June 2012 What's the answer? It's D. It is wrong ladies and gentlemen, that means we are taking the question to the other university. EAX is Regional Commodity Exit offering commodity trade services in Rwanda. Lost in A. March 2010 B. May 2015 C. 
July 2014 D. June 2012 What's the answer? C. Correct. C is correct, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking on the next question, which is the question number 61. Question number 61 is, take a deep breath. What was the first company to sell its shares through RSE? A. NMG. B. Equity. C. KCB. D. Very well. What's the answer? It is D. It is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. What was the first company to sell its shares through RSE? A. NMG. B. Equity. C. KCB. D. Bradley Ugo. What's the answer? C. C is correct, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking on the last question, which is question number 100. Question 100 is the website of CMA is A. www.cma.gov.ra B. www.cma.org.ra C. www.cma.ra D. www.smack.ra What's the answer? C. C is correct, ladies and gentlemen. That ends the last question of that university from Kim, ladies and gentlemen. Put a hand of applause for them as they got done with their questions. <laughs> now, as it's always fair, dear captain, pick up your five questions. It is the Capital Market University Challenge, the fourth edition. There are five questions, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a hand of applause as they just selected their five questions. Without taking so long, I would request my judges to allow me to share them the numbers of the questions. Now, without taking so long, dear judges, it's 10, it's 60, it's 72, it's 112 and then 159. Without taking so long, ladies and gentlemen, I would like the captain to hold their microphone. Dear captain of the team, who are you and what's the role of capital markets in an economy of a nation? Thank you, sir. We are the Achievers Group from University of Rwanda, CBE, Jikondo Campus. The role of the capital market on a nation is to be a key contributor to a nation's economy, becoming a mobilization center through saving for long-term investment. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Without taking so long, ladies and gentlemen, that deserves the hand of applause, ladies and gentlemen, as we go in for this question. Question number 10, if my countdown is ready. Question number 10, certificate of deposits, which are usually negotiable, are issued by A, banks, B, financial market, C, stock exchange, D, business corporations. What's the answer? B. B is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking the question to the other university. Certificate of deposits, which are usually negotiable, are issued by A, banks, B, financial market, C, stock exchange, D, business corporations. What's the answer? D. D is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to the next question, which is question number 60. Question number 60 goes, ladies and gentlemen, take a deep breath. Bonds issued by corporation for relatively long term are classified as A, long-term bonds, B, short-term bonds, C, corporate bonds, D, Federal Reserve bonds. What's the answer? A. A is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. That means we're dropping the question to the other university. The question is number 60. Bonds issued by corporation for relatively long-term are classified as A, long-term bonds, B, short-term bonds. C, corporate bonds. D, Federal Reserve bonds. What's the answer? C. C, it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are taking on the next question, which is question number 72. Question number 72 goes, which company cross-listed its shares on RSE among the following? A, B, 
BK, E, KCB, F, Bradirga, G, all of the above. What's the answer? D. D is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Which company cross-listed its shares on RSE among the following? A, BK, B, KCB, C, Bradirga, D, all of the above. What's the answer? It is B. It is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Judges just made a decision. It is correct. And the question that is going to next is 112. Question 112 is, which of the following securities is not shredded in the money market? A, treasury bills. B, asset-backed securities. C, repurchase agreements. D, certificate of deposits. What's the answer? C is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Which of the following securities is not traded in the money market? A, treasury bills. B, asset-backed securities. C, repurchase agreements. D, certificate of deposits. What's the answer? It is A. A is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. We go to the next question with 159. 159 says, Type of security backed by mortgage cash flows and are packed by financial instruments is classified as A, cash mortgage, B, securitized mortgage, C, financial mortgage, D, instrumental mortgage. What's the answer? D. D is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. The question is 159. Type of security backed by mortgage cash flows and are, backed, and are packed by financial instruments is classified as A, cash mortgage, B, securitized mortgage, C, financial mortgage, D, instrumental mortgage. What's the answer? A. A is wrong, ladies and gentlemen, and that's marking the last question of this challenge, ladies and gentlemen. A hand of applause to this team as they close for a fair play. <laughs> hugs, hugs, hugs. Fair games, ladies and gentlemen. Without taking so long, allow me to bring the teams of the third round. Third round teams, please join the podium. Yes, it is the Capital Market University Challenge, the fourth edition. It is always a fair game. That's why we always have ballots for the teams that are playing. We are just about to choose who is going first and who is going to next. Those are your ballots, captains. Please pick up your ballots. If you're one, you're going first. If you're two, then you're going next. You are going first to hand over across this team, ladies and gentlemen. And the other one is going too as well. Now, without taking a lot of time, take a deep breath. It is the Capital Market University Challenge 2017, the fourth edition. That means we had the first edition, we had the second, we had the third, and this is the fourth. And guess what? The moderator has been part of the first edition, the second edition, and of course I missed the third one, but I didn't want to, but that by the time I'd let the university not to keep me. But ladies and gentlemen, it is always a pleasure to be part of the challenge when you're not the one who is taking the deep breath. So dear captains and the teams, team members, 
Take a deep breath. And our dear captain number one, take up your five questions. It is the Cavito Market University Challenge. A dear audience, it's not very easy to pick up your questions. Give him a hand of applause once again because it's not as easy as he's doing it. He's just got five. Let's see what he's bringing. Five of them? Great. It's as fair as always. You're given a chance to choose what you are taking for your team. Now, dear judges, if you allow me, I would like to share with you the numbers of the questions that they've selected. Dear judges, question number 21. Yes. Question number 47. 47. Question number 53. 53. Question number 54. 53. And question 115. Ladies and gentlemen, without taking so long, I would like to start with the team number one. Team number one, who are you and what's the role of the capital markets in an economy of a nation? Thank you. We are brave statistics analysts group from University of Rwanda College of Business and Economics. We are the group aiming to become uh, uh, to fill the gap of statistics in the in, in the Rwanda in the country. The law, um, I mean, uh, this capital market contributes to the development of economy of the nation, as this institution aims at becoming the financial center and keeping people aware of this financial, I mean, uh, capital industry and business. Thank you. Thank you very much. Without taking so long, ladies and gentlemen, a hand over to that team as they are going for their quiz questions. Question number 21. If my countdown is ready, financial instruments such as commercial paper can be sold. A. Issued by commercial banks. B. Directly. C. With brokers or dealers. D. Financial buyers. What's the answer? The answer is B. B is correct, ladies and gentlemen. That means we are going to question number 47. Question number 47 is, long-term equity anticipation security is usually classified as A, short-term options, B, long-term options, C, short money options, D, year recall. What's the answer? The answer is B. B is correct, ladies and gentlemen. We're going for question number 53. Question number 53 is, special provisions that can have adverse or beneficial effects and are reflected in interest rates does not include a, tax ability, B, covered ability, C, call ability, D, inflation premium. What's the answer? The answer is D. D is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Question number 54. Bonds having longer maturity on the regional loans than promised payments are classified as A, developed bonds, B, developing bonds, C, bloody bonds, D, swap bonds. What's the answer? The answer is C. C is correct, ladies and gentlemen. We are going for question number 115. 115 goes like. Ladies and gentlemen, take a deep breath. Who is the following? Who in the following is not involved in an IPO? A, underwriter. B, investment banker. C, registrar of the issuer. D, all of the above. What's the answer? The answer is D. D is correct, ladies and gentlemen, and that marks the last question of that university. And we're going for the next university, D.A. University. You can now pick up your five questions. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a hand of applause. He's just selected five questions. And these five questions are going to be shared with the judges. And of course, open to the audience so that they get to know what is happening in the questions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the rules are still the same. The audience is not allowed to have any audio. That means our volume has got to be at zero so that we have a fair game. Now, dear judges, if you allow me, I'm going to be having the sharing 
of the questions. So question number 25. Question number 56. Question number 123. Question number 135. And question number 110. Without taking so long, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to go on with the challenge. Dear Captain, who are you and what's the role of the capital markets in the economy of a nation? Thank you. We are a group. We are a team from West, here at Exchange Campus. The role of capital market in, in the economy of a country is to raise the funds and to sensibilize, to sensibilize the, the long-term investment. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, without taking so long. Would like to start by question number 25. Bonds that are backed by cash flow from projects that are sold to finance particular project are classified as A, finance bonds, B, revenue bonds, C, financing bonds, D, project bonds. What's the answer? A. A is wrong. That means we are pushing the question to the other university. The question 25 says, bonds that are backed up are backed by cash flow from projects and are sold to financial particular projects are ah, classified as A, financial bonds, B, revenue bonds, C, financing bonds, D, projects bonds was the answer. The answer is B. B is correct, ladies and gentlemen. That means we're moving to question number 56. Question number 56 goes. In Africa, we have how many stock exchanges? A, 35. B, 40, C, 29, D, 27. What's the answer? C. C is correct, ladies and gentlemen. We are taking on the next question, which is 110. 110 goes. The first value of the sovereign bond issued by the government of Rwanda is A, USD 300 million, B, USD 400 million, C, USD 500 million, D, USD 1 billion. What's the answer? C. C is wrong. We're taking the question to the other university. The face value of the sovereign bond issued by the government of Rwanda is A, USD 300 million, B, USD 400 million, C, USD 500 million, D, USD 1 billion. What's the answer? The answer is D. D is wrong. That means we're dropping that question and we're going for question number 123. 123 says it's a securities, securities trading method that allows a trader to borrow securities from others and, and sell them at market price with a, with a belief that the security price will decline. Called A, short selling, B, insider dealing, C, front running, D, none of the above. What's the answer? D is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. The question is 103. A sec securities trading method that allows a trader to borrow securities from others and sell them at a market price with a belief that the security price will decline is called A, short selling, B, insider dealing, C, front running, D, none of the above. What's the answer? The answer is B. It is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking on the next question, which is 135. 135 is. Take a deep breath. Which of the foreign incomes earned by the limited taxpayer companies, which operate in Turkey through a workplace or a permanent representatives, are exempt from the corporate tax? A. Government bond interest incomes. B. Treasury bills interest incomes. C, equity trading profits. D, reverse repo incomes. E, equity dividend incomes. What's the answer? It 
E. It is correct, ladies and gentlemen, and it marks the last question of this round, ladies and gentlemen. A hand of applause to these teams as they are coming together to have a fair play. It is, of course, the Capital Market University Challenge that always provides the most fair game for the young people from the different universities. But to remind you also that we had 48 teams across the country and we only have in six today and we're going to be seeing how many are going to be the best three. And of course, at this round, we're going to be having the best four teams to go the next round. The judges are going to be telling us shortly how many points they got and which are these teams. Only for the semifinals and after the semifinals, we'll be having the best two, which is going to rank the last final of this fair game. A hand of applause to our judges for the great job that they're doing. And of course, to the Capital Markets Authority, Rwanda Stock Exchange, EPRN, and the ISEC International, the youth organization that has put together this event. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rogers, and I'm your host. I'll see you in a few minutes when the judges give us their feedback. May God bless you for now. Keep saving. Buy a lot of shares as much as you could. And of course, buy some bonds. I'm not going to put you on how you'll be having a deep breath. When you're buying shares, you don't have a deep breath. We just go like, go for it. These are the ones, ladies and gentlemen, a hand of applause to them. Now, without taking so long, with their five questions, We'll proceed with the challenge. And now, if at all, my countdown is ready, and of course the questionnaire screen, we put up the questionnaire screen so that it's not biased at all. It's a fair game to us and the audience. The loser are still the same, ladies and gentlemen. Just to remind you that we always at the zero audio or zero volume so as to make the game more fair. We just want you to be static. Don't move. Don't make signs. If I see you, Capital Markets Authority is the regulator. But in the Capital Markets University Challenge, I'm the regulator. And I'll show you the door. Don't make me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to share the numbers with the judges. As it's the fourth edition, it's question number five, question number 22, question number 90, 106, 111. Take a deep breath, dear audience. Don't make signs. Zero audio. Dear Captain, what is the role of the Capital Market University Challenge for the club investment? Excuse me. Introduction. Who yes. are they? Okay. Yes. The judges want your introduction. Who are you and what's the role of the Capital Market University Challenge? in increasing investments of the clubs at different universities. Thank you. We are Save for the Future from Western Province. The role of capital market in investment, it is first of all to encourage or to mobilize students from university to, to save by providing, by helping them to how they can save for the future. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, without taking a lot of time, ladies and gentlemen, a hand of applause to that team after winding up with a behavior question. Please, a hand of applause. The question number five, if my countdown is ready. Financial firms such as mutual fund and insurance companies are also called A, insured financials, B, guaranteed business, C, credit business, D, business financials. What's the answer? B. B. It is correct, ladies and gentlemen, as we are proceeding to the next question, which is question number 22. Question number 22 goes, bonds issued by corporations for a relatively longer term are classified as A, long-term bonds, B, short-term bonds, C, corporate bonds, D, Federal Reserve bonds. What's the answer? C. C is correct, ladies and gentlemen. We're proceeding to question number 90. Question number 90 goes, Which of the following types of securities represents a creditor relationship with an issuer? A. Options. B. Shares. C. Bonds. D. Futures. What's the answer? C. C is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Next question is 106. 106 goes. What is the name of the first fund to raise capital through capital market? A. Special Guarantee Fund. B. Ethereum Belief Fund. C. Agachiro Development Fund. D, none of the above, none of the above. Yes, what's the answer? B. B is correct, ladies and gentlemen. The question number 111 is, which of the following types of securities represents a creditor relationship with an issuer? A, options. B, shares. C, bonds. D, futures. What's the answer? That question is coming up. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, as a moderator, I'm picking up the next question for them. You let me have a one question once again. Dear Captain, have a one question once again. It is a fair game, ladies and gentlemen, and that's why we're giving them another question. It has just come back once again, if you've observed. And in the Capital Market University Challenge, we don't do questions twice. The rules of the game say, if the question comes up once again, they pick another question. So if the question is 14, that is being kept for this team as well. Question number 14 goes, the Central Securities Depository in Rwanda is managed by A, RSE, B, CMA, C, BNL, D, RNIT, E, CTL. What's the answer? B. B is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. The Central Securities Depositor in Rwanda is managed by A, RSE, B, CMA, C, BNL, D, RNIT, RNIT, E, CTL. What's the answer? D. D is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. That marks the end of the questions for the other university and would like to go to the next university. Dear Captain, pick up your five questions. It is the semi-finals of the Capital Markets University Challenge 2017. Of course, put together with the Capital Markets Authority, Rwanda Stock Exchange, EPRN, and the ISIC International. Take a deep breath as we go in for the next university. Dear judges, if you allow me, if you allow me, I would like to share with you the numbers of the questions. Question number 49. Question number 57. 130. 140. And then 154. 
Dear captains, are you ready? Take a deep breath. The judges want to know so much who are you and what's the role of the Capital Market University Challenge in the investment clubs of different universities. Okay. Thank you. I'm Tarima Fred, alongside with Maria Gwaire Matirida and Rusa Rokireva of the SPARS Investment Club for you RCAVM. And the role of the University Challenge 2017 is to make youth, most especially the educated youth in universities, aware about capital market operations because these people are the elite people who will transmit the message about the capital market in their home, in their home background. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. A hand of applause to that team as they're going for their quiz once again. Now, without taking so much, ladies and gentlemen, question number 49. Traditionally, notes that provide returns tied to inflation rate are classified as A, clean price bonds, B, discount index bonds, C, premium index bonds, D, inflex, inflation index bonds. What's the answer? D. D is correct, ladies and gentlemen, as we proceed into question number 57. Question number 57 is, considering yields of bonds, secured bonds as compared to unsecured bonds have A, higher yields, B, lower yields, C, untimed yields, D, timed yields. What's the answer? D. D is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. That means we are taking the question to the other university. The question is 57. Considering yields of bonds, secured bonds as compared to unsecured bonds, have A, higher yields, B, lower yields, C, untimed yields, D, timed yields. What's the answer? B. It is wrong. That takes us to the next question. The question 130. 130 is when economists talk about liquidity, they are referring to the ease of converting an asset to cash, B, amount of debit that consumers owe, C, moral hazard problem created by deposit insurance, D, riskness of an asset. What's the answer? A. A is correct, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to question 140. 140 is. Rules and regulations placed on bondholders and bond issuers are classified in A, board covenants, B, private covenants, C, federal covenants, D, expansion covenants. What's the answer? A. A is correct, ladies and gentlemen. That takes us to the question 154. 154 is, ladies and gentlemen, take a deep breath. More coupon payment or oh, promised interest payment. More coupon payment or oh, promised interest payment. A, higher its duration. B, lower its duration. C, zero duration. D, one year duration. What's the answer? B. B is correct, ladies and gentlemen, and that marks the last question of this ultimate semi-finals ladies and gentlemen a hand of applause to the teams as they are crossing to hug each other ladies and gentlemen it is also part of the game and the rules that are governing this is when the universities are having a tie they have a ultimate challenge of a one question to a question. So, dear judges, was that a tie? It was a tie? It's a tie. Now, that means they're having ultimate questions one per one. Dear ladies and gentlemen, without, take, hmm? without taking so long, I would like to once again share with the teams that you have a tie. The rules of the game say you have a ultimate challenge. To so teams, you're coming back here.
When it's a tie, it's a one on one. The illiterate questions, please, captains, pick one, and the other one picks one. Dear judges, the questions are, this university of Uoka has 18, and this university has 157 questions. We go first for you, Oka, ladies and gentlemen, team. It is question number 18. And it is the executive director of Capital Market Authority in Rwanda is called A. James Cabera, B. Celestine Ravkumba, C. Stephen Mutawazi. D. Andre Gashuji, E. Robert Matthew. What's the answer? E. E. It is, ladies and gentlemen. And then we are taking on question number 157. And the question is, legal documents required by Security Exchange Commission stating associated risks and detailed description of issues is classified as A, prospectus, B, stated document, C, receipt detail document, D, exchange commission document. What's the answer? A. A is correct. That means we're taking on another relitment challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Pick more questions, captains. One question. The question for the team from Uoka, it is 87. And the other question is 98. Now, question number 87. Ladies and gentlemen, take a deep breath. Dear audience, take a deep breath as well. Question number 87. T bonds in Rwanda are classified, are issued. T bonds in Rwanda are issued. A, annually. B, semi-annually. C, quarterly. D, weekly. What's the answer? A. A is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. That means we're taking the question to the other university. T bonds in Rwanda are issued. A. Annually. B. Semi annually. C. Quarterly. D. Weekly. What's the answer? C. C is correct, and that marks the end of the elite mate challenge, ladies and gentlemen. But they also have their question. 98. To sell shares to the public, an approval so, so is... So this, uh, it was 97, I think. 97. 98. Okay. 98. To sell shares to the public, an approval is sought from... A. RSE. B. CMA. C. BNR. D. RDB. What's the answer? B. B is correct, and that marks the end of the litme challenge, ladies and gentlemen. A hand of applause as they share and cross to Harg and Bizu. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, without taking so long, we'd like to remind you that this Capital Market University Challenge 2017 is put together with Capital Markets Authority, Rwanda Stock Exchange, EPRN. And of course, Isaac International. A hand of applause to the team that has just finished their rhythm challenge, ladies and gentlemen. We are having the next semi finals. Semi finals, the next team should be on board. Please come up. The It is the Capital Market University Challenge, ladies and gentlemen. It is the fourth edition. 
It's been put together by Capital Markets Authority, Rwanda Stock Exchange, EPRN, and of course, Isaac International. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to remind you, it's been 23 universities with 48 teams, and in Kigali at the finals, we've managed to have only and only six teams. To those who are watching us back home, and right here in Serena Hotel, we are having the fourth edition, and these are the semifinals. This is the second round of the semifinals. The first round is just done. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 48 to 4. Who is the bear? Who is the bull? Now, without taking so long, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to share with you that the Capital Market University Challenge is the most fair game ever over the world and always it's done here in the Capital Markets University Challenge. This is your ballot, dear captains. I am always at your service with the ballots. And to prove that actually Capital Markets University Challenge is done fairly. Special thanks goes to our technical team that is doing the handling of the social media. We are more than 5,000 tweets now. Ladies and gentlemen, a hand of applause to the handles of the social media. And we believe more is coming. Special thanks to Wilson, Isaac International, volunteer, global volunteer. Special thanks goes to Jackie and Cecilia for the organization team. And of course, our leaders. And that's David Nyonsaba. And of course, with Debbie. And hand over to the team that is being behind this. I don't want to say AI sec, but don't provoke me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a proud ISECA, but I'm a moderator of the day. I'd like to share with you also that our special thanks goes to go at the main Capital Markets University Challenge 2017. Who is the ones, captains, and who is the two? That's number one. A hand of applause to this team, which has just picked number one, and it's going fast. Pick up your five questions, dear captain, and take a deep breath. I know also the audience is a challenge like me. I've been here before. It's not very easy, but the questions are mixed up, and you don't know which one is which. But of course, it's the Capital Market University Challenge, which is the most fair all over the world. There are five questions, ladies and gentlemen, put together with this captain from the south, and he's going to tell us who they are. Now, without taking so much, dear judges, allow me to share with you the numbers of the questions. Question number one. Question number 52. Question number 84. And then question one, uh, 118. And then 126. Now, ladies and gentlemen, without taking so long, would like to question the team. The judges want to know so much, and the audience wants to know so much who you are. And of course, share with us what's the role of the Capital Market University Challenge in the investment clubs of the different universities. Thank you. We are Brave Statistics Analyst Group from the University of Rwanda, representing the uh, southern province in the challenge. So we are having a specific mission of becoming young investors. So the law of this university challenge uh, is that it mobilizes and keeping away the young generation uh, about the capital market industry. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It is the first team to take on the challenge. Question number one. If my countdown is ready, how many custodians licensed at Rwanda's stock market? A, five. B, six. C, two. D, three. What's the answer? Answer is 
C. C is correct, ladies and gentlemen. The next question is question number 52. Question number 52 is... Take a deep breath. Type of financial security which have links pay off to another issued security is classified as A. Linked security. B. Deliverative security. C. Payable security. D. Non-issuing security was the answer. Answer is B. B it is, ladies and gentlemen. And the next question is 84. Question number 84 is CMA is an agency of A. The President's Office. B. RDB. C. BNL. D. Menikofin was the answer. The answer is D. D it is, ladies and gentlemen. The next question is 118. 118 is, ladies and gentlemen, take a deep breath. Alternative investments that use pooled funds that employ numerous different strategies to earn active return are called A. Trust funds. B. Hedge funds. C. Mutual funds. D. All of the above. What's the answer? Answer is C. C is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. That means we are dropping the question to the other university. Alternative investment that use pooled funds that employ numerous different strategies to earn active return are called A. Trust funds. B. Hedge funds. C. Mutual funds. D. All of the above. What's the answer? B. B is correct, ladies and gentlemen. The next question is 106. 106 is... Which of the following institutions offer services of clearing and settlement in the Rwanda market? A. CMA. B. RSE. C. BNL. D. RNIT. What's the answer? The answer is A. Wrong. Wrong it is, ladies and gentlemen. The questions drop to the other university. Which of the following institutions offer services of clearing and settlement in the Rwanda market? A. CMA. B, RSE, C, BNL, D, RNIT was the answer. C. C is correct and that marks the last question of the other team. And I would like to question and also to welcome the University of Kim team to join and get their questions. It is the Capital Market University Challenge, the fourth edition, put together with Capital Markets Authority, Randa Stock Exchange, of course, ISEC International and EBRN. Take a deep breath, audience. They are five questions for five minutes. Down from 40, 48 teams to only four teams. And now we want to know who are the two teams or oh. Who are going to be the bear and who's going to be the bull? I'm so sorry, judges, if that question comes up. What's a bear and what's the bull? In the capital markets, people think they are animals. But in the capital markets, it's different. We'll get to know if the challenge gives us that question. Now, without taking so long, dear judges, allow me to share with you the questions. Question number 88. Question number 92. Question number 107. Question number 120. And question number 127. Oh! You can even have a 1,000 questions in the Capital Market University channel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Without wasting a lot of time, allow me to go with the question of behavior. Dear Tim, the judges and the audience want to know, who are you and what do you think? It's the role of Capital Market University Challenge in the investment clubs of the different teams of the universities. Thank you. Once again, we are Champions Club from Kim University. And the role of capital market in the university clubs, it is to encourage them to invest in the capital market industry as it would give 
a comfortable retirement in the future. Thank you. A hand of applause to that team, ladies and gentlemen, as they are taking on their challenge. Question number 88, if my countdown is ready, there is an inverse relationship between the price and the yield of the bond. A, true, B, false. What's the answer? A. A is correct, ladies and gentlemen. That makes the next question, which is question number 92. Which of the following is not a type of derivative securities? A, future contracts. B, swaps. C, options. D, preferred stocks. What's the answer? It is B. Wrong. B is wrong. That means we're dropping the question to the other university. Which of the following... Which of the following is not a type of derivative securities? A, future contracts. B, swaps. C, options. D, preferred stocks. What's the answer? Answer is D. Correct. D is correct, ladies and gentlemen. That marks the next question being 107. 107 says, Individuals are allowed to invest in treasury bonds issued by the government of Rwanda. A, true. B, false. A. A is correct, ladies and gentlemen. 120 is the next question. 120 is, in Rwanda, which of the following is not, is not subject to CMA regulatory and supervisory powers? A, listed companies. B, trust funds. C, pension funds. D, collective investment schemes. What's the answer? D. Wrong. D is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. The question is, in Rwanda, which of the following is not subject to CMA, legislatively and supervisory powers? A, listed companies. B, trust funds. C, pension funds. D, collective investment schemes. What's the answer? The answer is C. Correct. C is correct, ladies and gentlemen. That marks the next question being 177. The capital markets business includes A. Dealing with the capital market instruments B. Self-keeping and administration of assets C. Trading commercial papers D. All are correct. What's the answer? A. Wrong. A is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. The question is 107. The capital markets business includes dealing in capital markets instruments, B, self-keeping and administration of assets, C, trading commercial papers, D, all are correct. What's the answer? The answer is C. Wrong. C is wrong. That means we're dropping that question. And ladies and gentlemen, that marks the end of this session. Now, if the judges allow me, I'll get to know if, uh, if it's a tie or not. It is not a tie, ladies and gentlemen. You can now cross and hug and be zoo. A hand of applause as they are crossing, ladies and gentlemen. Now the judges will get back to us in a few. But of course, I'd like to remind everyone in the house and those ones who are watching us back home and on live stream that this is the Capital Market University Challenge 2017 and it's the fourth edition. It's being put together with the only and only supporting great companies and institutions and these are Capital Markets Authority, Rwanda Stock Exchange, EPRN, and the ISIC International. I would like to remind you that it's a hashtag UniChallenge RIW, and that's trending to more than 5,000 tweets. You can join us 
by joining our social media tweets, whether back home or here at Serena. I'll be joining you once again. And I'm Mr. Rogers, Ziza Chimli. And I'm the host. See you when you see me back. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, as I'm going. Yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, take a deep breath. <laughs> it is the time for the judges now to share with us who is going on to the finals. A hand of applause as our judge, chief judge is joining us. I greet you once again. This second session, um, which announced the first group and the second, and then at the end, that's when we will identify the third group, and obviously the, the, the fourth one. Because from this session, only two groups are continuing, the, two other, the other two groups uh, will leave. So the first group is the group from Kavem, Northern <laughs> Province, with 77.7%. And uh, the second group is the CBE Statistics Huye. <laughs> with 62.5%. Thank you so much. So we are having now the two groups. A hand of applause to our chief judge, ladies and gentlemen. Without taking so long, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome the two teams at the finals. And these are the team from CAVM and the team from URCBE South. Ladies and gentlemen, a hand of applause as they're joining us to the final challenge. Without taking so long, it's just a deep breath. It is the Capital Markets University Challenge put together with the Capital Markets Authority, 
Runner Stock Exchange, Isaac International, and of course, APRN. Now, ladies and gentlemen, us, we are the finals now. There have been 48 teams across the country from 23 universities with an expectation of having 400 clubs. And that's a quote from Mr. Celestine Rabukumba. At the end of the project, we are going to look at if all these clubs that we are expecting are going to be live and investing in the capital markets of Rwanda. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the contestants have been sharing with us the objective and what they think the role of the capital markets are doing in the country. Now, without taking so long, would like to share the ballots if my protocol brings me the ballots. Protocol, please give me the ballots. It is, of course, the fair game, the most fair game ever in the world. And this is the Capital Market University Challenge that you can only and only find here in Rwanda. Now, ladies and gentlemen, take a deep breath as I share the ballots. I know the world is watching, and this is the fair game. Capital Market University Challenge 2017, Blair Captains, take up your ballots. And it is the Capital Market University Challenge, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth edition. Who is the number one? Number one on this side, a hand of applause, ladies and gentlemen. You are a CBE South. And now, without taking so long, I would like to welcome the captain on the side that is going first to pick up their five questions. It is the fourth edition. Of course, we had the first edition, second, third, and now we are at fourth. Expect more to come. Forty-eight teams to two teams now. Here at Serena, ladies and gentlemen, you can join us on our Twitter handles. And of course, those at home can join us on the social media, following up on our Twitter handles and on Facebook. Dear judges, if you allow me, I will share with you the numbers of the questions. Question 27. Question 30, question 50, question 78, 116. Dear Captain, from the side of CBEUR South, take a deep breath. I know the audience will always want to hear who you are and what the name of the team is. But of course, we would like to hear from you. What is your contract of performance when you go back to your university as a team that is been in the Capital Market University Challenge? What is the message are you taking to the young people back in the university? Thank you. We are BLEV Statistics Analyst Group, BSA Group. And when we back to, to university, we will encourage our colleagues, classmates, and 
young generation to to know more about capital market and how to to join the the, the capital market we really encourage the youth to 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 save in the long term investment thank you thank you very much hand of applause the team captain from urcb ladies and gentlemen take a deep breath this is the capital market university challenge the fourth edition question number 27 if my countdown is ready preferred stock is considered as hybrid security because it includes a representation of ownership interest b fixed periodic payments c higher liquidity d both a and b what's the answer the answer is d d is correct ladies and gentlemen the next question is question number 30 financial securities issued by local and state governments are classified as a municipal bonds b reserve bonds c state bonds d federal bonds what's the answer the answer is a it is correct ladies and gentlemen the next question is 50 50 the question goes markets in which derivatives are traded are classified as a assets backed market b cash flow backed markets c mortgage backed markets d derivative securities market what's the answer the answer is d d is correct ladies and gentlemen the next question is 78 78 c's which of the following is not a characteristic of a securities exchange? A. Stocks traded on an exchange must meet minimum listing requirements. B. It provides liquidity to individuals who acquire securities in the primary market. C. It allows listed securities to trade off the exchange floor with the aid of blockers. D. It allows securities to be listed on more than one exchange. What's the answer? The answer is D. D is wrong. That means we're dropping the question to the other university. Which of the following is not a characteristics of a securities exchange? A. Stocks traded on an exchange must meet minimum listing requirements. B. It provides liquidity to individuals who acquire securities in the primary market. C. It allows listed securities to trade off the exchange lower with the aid of lockers. D. It allows securities to be listed on more than one exchange. What's the answer? D. D is wrong. That means we're dropping that question, ladies and gentlemen. The next question is 116. 116. The minimum of shares that can be traded at the lender, at the at the stock uh, at the stock RSE is A 100 shares, B 1000 shares, C 100 shares, D 50 shares. What's the answer? The answer is A. A, it is, ladies and gentlemen, and that marks the last question of the other university. Ladies and gentlemen, without taking so long, I would like to request the captain to pick up their five questions. It is the fourth edition of the Capital Markets University Challenge 2017, ladies and gentlemen. That marks the fourth, but that means we had the first one, the second, the third, and of course we are the fourth. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to remind you that these were 48 teams and now we have in two. And to be awarded, we are awarding three best teams. Here with me right now are the finals. Of course, you get the best two. We'll get to be having the best one, the best two, and the best three. The same that is going to be applied to the essay writing, ladies and gentlemen, we are awarding the first AC, second, and the third. And when I come back, I'll tell you how much in cash these young ladies and gentlemen are taking back home. And to the most fair game of the Capital Market University Challenge, dear judges, allow me to share with you the numbers. Question number 39. Question 40. Question 74. Question 108. Without taking so long, ladies and gentlemen, dear captains and team members, take a deep breath. Of course, the rules are the same. The audience doesn't move. It doesn't make sense. 
at the Zillow Audio. The Capital Markets Authority is the legislator of the Capital Hello? Markets. Moderator? Yes? I have read four questions. Oh, I say 39, 40, 95, 74, 108. 39, 40, 95, 74, 108. Okay. Sounds good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if the judges are at par now, take a deep breath, dear audience. Question number 39. I know the captain is holding my mic now. But the audience always wants to hear your voice, dear captain. Dear captain, you will share with the audience who you are, but also to share with us, after the Capital Market University Challenge, what's the message are you taking back to Sogo? Okay. Good afternoon once more. I'm Tarimo Fred from the Supers Investment Group from CAVM Busogo Campus. So when I go back home, I will convey this message to the students there. Firstly, I will share with them the information that we have acquired here. And secondly, we will encourage them to save any amount of money that they get and invest through capital market because of the lucrative gains in it. Thank you. Dear ladies and gentlemen, the judges have just shared an issue with one question. Question 39 is having an issue. As it's the most fair game, instead of just dropping the question, we're allowing the team to have one more question as we drop in 39. One hundred and sixty-one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, without taking so long, would like to go for question number forty. Question forty: Price at which stock is sold to investors by investment banks is called a gross proceeds, b cumulative proceeds, c. Excuse me. It has the same issue? Yes. They're picking another one. Yes. 96. That takes us to question number 74. If my countdown is brought back once again and it's ready... Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to start with question number 74. A person who acts as an intermediate, intermediately between buyers and sellers in the securities market is A, specialist, B, dealer, C, broker, D, agent. What's the answer? The answer is C. C, it is, ladies and gentlemen, the next question is 95. 95 is, take a deep breath. When an investor buys shares trading, come dividend. When an investor buys shares trading, come dividend. It means he or she does not have any rights to announce dividends. A, true. B, false. What's the answer? B. It is correct, ladies and gentlemen. The next question is 108. 108 goes. SMEs are subjected to more rigorous disclosure requirements to issue securities to the public because they are considered more risky than big companies. A, true. B, false. What's the answer? B. B is correct, ladies and gentlemen. That takes us to the next question, which is 96. 96 is... When was CMA established? 
A, 2008. B, 2009. C, 2010. D, 2011. What's the answer? The answer is D. D, it is, ladies and gentlemen, the last question is 161. 161 is, take a deep breath. Stock markets in which already issued stocks are resold and rebought are classified as A, red hiring stock market, B, preemptive stock market, C, silent stock market, D, secondary stock markets. What's the answer? A. Ladies and gentlemen, without taking so long, that marks the end of the questions that we've been having. This one was, uh, has been done already. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the judges and some observation from the audience that makes us, once again, make this game the most fair game ever, ever in Rwanda. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are calling for one, one more question. It is the finals from the 48 teams of 23 universities of the fourth edition of the Capital Markets University Challenge. Special thanks goes to CMA, which is Capital Markets Authority, and of course, Rwanda Stock Exchange, and of course, EPRN, and the one and only ISIC International. Implementing partner and is being on this since the start. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's five provinces, 48 teams, 23 universities, but we are having two. You can follow us on our Twitter handles as we shared before. The next question is seven, dear judges. The mass fair game. Question number seven. Take a deep breath, dear team. Hmm? Same case. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that means they're picking another one. It is the fair game, and that's why we're trying to do all this. So that you and me don't say that Capital Markets Authority was biased at any point. It's question 32. Dear judges, take a deep breath, dear audience. Zero volume, but also with zero signatures and signs. But we are having a signature board. It's behind. When we take a break, you are allowed to go and sign on that board and put your name there. And we'll be so glad to see your signature on our signature board. Question number 32. An annual estimated cost of assets uses up every year are included. A. Depreciation and amortization. B. Net sales. C. Net profit. D. Net income. What's the answer? The answer is A. A is correct, ladies and gentlemen, and that marks the end of this round. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Capital Markets University Challenge, and I would like to welcome the teams for a fair play, hugs, and something that I've not said. It is the fourth edition of the Capital Markets University Challenge 2017, of course put together with the Capital Market Authority, Rwanda Stock Exchange, EPRN, and of course, ISIC International. Special thanks goes to our different partners that have put this together but also special thanks goes to the judges definitely the ones who are working on our social media handles and definitely the protocol team and those who have managed to make this place look beautiful now ladies and gentlemen without taking a lot of time take a deep breath as we are going to the next program as the judges are putting together the last marks and to share with us 
who are the best three. It's been amazing, and that's why I would like to welcome once again a hand of applause. That's been really great to have you in the audience, but also to support this event. A hand of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, this has been done with different teams from different universities, but we'd like to hear from one of the members that have been in a Capital Market University Challenge and to share with us the experience that they've got. I would love to share with you because I've been part of it. But 2014 is different from 2017. So I'd like to welcome Laola Dusingize to share with us her experience throughout this journey of the capital markets and what's the message to the young people. Lola de Singes is from Kepler University. Yes. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Laura Desinize, I've been said. Uh, I'm from Kepler University and I'm working on my associates uh, in arts with concentration in business. And uh, I've been selected to share with you the experience in the Capital Market Challenge University in 2017. And uh, I will start with how I got to know the Capital Market University Challenge. So uh, it was a start of the month when we got to know that there is a, a capital market university challenge and uh, we went for the intro information session uh, at AUKA and then at that time that's when I, I got to know about the capital market university challenge at first I didn't know about it but then uh, in the information session I was a little confused about uh, the the challenge because I was not like getting the figure of how uh, the capital market university challenge is going to be figured and then um, but then when you went back to the campus of Kepler uh, we shared the information with the some um, uh, students from my campus and then uh, I, I got some information about it and then uh, after we had to choose the groups uh, and then when I was choosing a group because I did not do economics I was a little frightened to do something that is related to economics that I did not do. Uh, but then because I had the support of my friends, uh, like my classmates, uh, we made a group of three as it was required. And then uh, the next step was um, to, to conduct a research. And then by conducting the research, we visited uh, some of the sites that, some of the websites that are related to this Capital Market University Challenge. Uh, like uh, CMA, uh, like EPRN, uh, ISEC, and the Aranda Stock Exchange. So uh, by getting the information, uh, we thought it was not very helpful, and we tried to approach some of the people who work uh, at the CMA, uh, and then we, we, like, we conducted some interviews to know some information, like more about the capital market. So uh, after getting the information we gathered it and then uh, like from our campus we we made like a, a discussion as the groups because uh, some of the people had gotten the information very well and some of some of us also did not get the information as it was needed so but from the discussions uh, we got the information very well so that uh, like on Friday uh, everyone from our campus was very ready to compete and then uh, after, on the day of the competition, I gained many, uh, like many skills from it because uh, at least I got to know about the capital markets authority because first of all, I did not know it, but then I know what it does and how it helps the economy of the country. And then um, I also learned that I, 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 it's like the same thing that I repeat because uh, I learned that Winners are very many, but they are the top winners uh, because we are not selected for the, uh, the first round because we had uh, 22 groups, I think. And uh, I think we became like the 10th and we are not selected. 
I learned that uh, among the top, among the <coughs> the winners, there is always the top winner. So uh, another thing that I learned is that uh, I cannot regret to have competed or to have failed because uh, I got the information. So at least I got, I learned something, even if I failed, but I know something about the capital market and what the ISEC does and what the Randa Stock Exchange does. So uh, another thing that I can recommend everyone here as the youth is that um, everyone, ha uh, everyone has to find opportunities every time. Do not wait for opportunities to, to, to seek for you. So seek for opportunities. And then uh, if you also uh, fail once, don't think it's the, w the end of the world. So if you fail once, maybe it's the first step that you're going to take so that you can get to success. And then another thing is that you have to work hard, you pray hard, and then God will do the rest. Thank you. A hand of applause once again, ladies and gentlemen, to that lady, Lola. The thing is there. Thank you very much for sharing with us your experience. I know how it feels when you, someone's telling you, take a deep breath. Um, for the first time, it was also not very easy for me, for the first edition. But for the second edition, it was easier. But then we would like to thank very much the Capital Markets Authority with Rwanda Stock Exchange, having put this together. I'm one of the fruits, but guess what? After the first edition, me and my friend, we, we didn't win, but we played semifinals. And then when we got the money from our bursaries and some other little collections from friends and family, we bought some shares. We used only 140,000 to buy shares from Bradiruga. And by the time I think it was at 400. But we sold them when it has got to 700 and something. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, young people in the house? We made some money and we are now having a company that is doing event management. It's called MP VUBA, so multi purpose VUBA. VUBA means quickly. So we, we just give services. And uh, we use that money to start up that company. So thanks to Mr. Robert Matthew and uh, Mr. Celestine Ramkumba for pushing this forward and it's been really so fruitful. I know it's not only me. If you go to the third edition, you also realize there's some people that have done investments. Some friends of mine from New York who did the OneCoin project, like they've made some great projects out there. And it's really a fruit from this. I am a fruit from this. Look at me. A hand of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you might be asking yourself what is out there that is actually capital market is keeping for us. It is the Rwanda Stock Exchange together with the Capital Markets Authority putting together with EPRN and ISIC International for the fourth edition of this challenge. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the other editions have been awarded, but also this edition is awarded. The first team is getting all this much. One million run and francs, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lot of money. A hand of applause. The second team is going to get 700,000 run and francs, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lot of investment. Third team is going to be getting 500,000 run and francs, ladies and gentlemen. And that's for the quiz. But that's cash to buy shares in any company of their choice. As a leg letter, I told you the Capital Market University Challenge is very fair and it's very fair to every company that is listed on our Rwanda Stock Exchange. So we give them cash and they buy shares from any company they want. Isn't that fair, ladies and gentlemen? A hand of applause to that. Very fair. Essay, competition, the third person or the third team is going to be getting 100,000. A lot of money, ladies and gentlemen. A hand of applause to that. 
The second team is going to be getting 200,000 Rwandan francs as well. And then the first one is going to get 400,000. Now, ladies and gentlemen, without taking so long, allow me to closely put the audios down as I'm inviting the executive director of CMA, Mr. Robert Matthew, put your hands together as we welcome him to the podium, ladies and gentlemen, to share with us the objectives of this Capital Market University Challenge. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Roger, for the great job. And uh, I would like to say that the objective of the university challenge has actually been described very, very well by Laura Dusingize. The objective was actually to invite the university students to interact with the capital market. It was also mentioned much earlier by the CEO of the Rwanda Stock Exchange that we expect students to search and learn about investments. Learn that you can only invest if you save. That is the whole objective. And also the fact that the capital market, not capital market authority, but the capital market or the securities industry provides an appropriate environment for organized investments. What do we mean here? that savings are very scarce when you are starting to save before many of you have started even working which is a wise thing to do you realize actually that there is no money but you struggle save the little you can but because it will always still be little you come up with the good ideas of forming collective groups. The idea of investment clubs. This is the fourth university challenge. And I am very, very glad to say that there are very many investment clubs that have been formed out there by university students. And the impact is amazing. So we are here to actually celebrate the end of hard work of learning in the last couple of weeks, where all of you were so industrious in researching, asking questions, interviews. Some of them talked to me and many of my colleagues who are here. Some called just to learn about capital market. So capital market, yes, is a new, fairly new market. It's a new industry, just about a decade old. Who will serve in this industry? It's you in future. Who will invest in this market? It's you. As was said earlier, the purpose of the capital market is actually to assist the economy, both private business and the public sector meaning private enterprises and government and quasi-government institutions to access long-term capital. 
to invest, to grow, create jobs, create income, save more, and invest more. We've been here for quite a long stretch today, and I don't wish to take much of your time. And at this juncture, I would like to thank all participants, all of you are winners, but only a few will walk away with their awards. Participation is key. This is a beginning. Now you have the power to be able to participate in capital market, not just by reading, but also by investing. I would like to thank the team of judges here who have done a wonderful job. They have worked tirelessly. They were very, very objective. And to be honest, and it was not intentional, I don't know any one of them in person. Just to confirm how objective they were. They've done a very, very professional job. I would also like to thank the academia, the universities, the leadership, together with the administration, for the cooperation they provided. I would also definitely like to thank all the partners in this initiative, and that is the Rwanda Stock Exchange for the sponsorship, EPRN for the, for the sponsorship and support, and of course, the student body, Isaac. They've done a wonderful job. Uh, thank you. Um, the academia and the administration for the cooperation. And for the first time this year, we actually decided not to be involved in the uh, running of this challenge. For the first time, we let the students participate because this event belongs to you, the university students. And going forward, we will always be there to support the event. And we look forward to seeing more and more participation, organization, and management. And that is the reason why we engaged Isaac as a student body, so that the students own their own event. I would also, of course, like to convey the appreciation of your resilience, both from our board, board of CMA, and the management team at the Capital Market Authority that was working together with the students' organization and all the partners. We look forward to seeing the university students identify opportunities both in the capital market and through the capital market. I have personally visited a microfinance business that is running very successfully out there and that business originated from this actually from the first competition, because the whole idea is to encourage students to form investment clubs. And when they formed a club beyond the university, instead of looking for work, that group of students decided to set up or actually to uh, continue and convert the investment club 
into a microfinance. Isn't that great? And that is the ultimate objective of this initiative. I know we have been doing it with the university. This will continue. But in future, we also look forward to also involving other learning institutions. Having said that, I wish to take this opportunity to thank all of you, and specifically the Ministry of Finance for the support in developing the financial sector in Rwanda. The Capital Market Authority is an agency that reports to the Ministry of Finance. And we are very happy with the cooperation. We would also like, like to thank the CEOs of all organizations that have dedicated a whole Friday morning. They are very busy people. They are all here just to celebrate the success of this challenge. Finally, I would like to wish all of you a huge appetite and a great weekend. Thank you very much. Hear me, but once again, ladies and gentlemen, a hand of applause to Mr. Robert Matthew, the executive director of CMA. Now, what we have in next is the awarding ceremony, but then take a deep breath. We're going to be knowing who is the bear, who is the bull in the Capital Markets University Challenge 217. Now, dear Chief Judge, I would like to welcome you right here to share who is the winner, who is number two, and who is number three. And then, of course, we get to the event of awarding the best teams. Yeah, I would like also to appreciate every person here. Uh, according to the outcome, the outcome of the challenge, number, number three, we are Save for the Future group, you, Erika. from the western province and uh, number two uh, CBE Huye Statistics Group from the southern province and number one yeah from the northern province Kavim Eighty three percent, eighty percent, and sixty two point five percent, respectively. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a hundred reports to our chief judge. <laughs> the journey has been very long with forty eight teams, twenty three universities, and of course. Here at Tigali Serena Hotel, we've just got to know 
who has been the winner of the University Challenge 2017 that is being done on the capital markets. Now, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to go the word in ceremony so that we quickly uh, get done with this. Allow me to invite Mr. Magnifique, who is the man behind the curtain that has worked so much with us in the implementation of this project. Mr. Magnifique, as you join me on the program. A hand of applause, ladies and gentlemen, it's not easy. Yep. And ladies and gentlemen, come Mr. Manifik. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, allow me to invite Mr. Eric, the, the Deputy Executive Director of CMA. Mr. Eric, you're welcome on podium. A hand of applause once again. We are going to be starting with awarding the essay competition winners. Now, if at all, my technical team gives me the names of the winners. Dear Protocol, bring me the names. of essay, the winners of essay writing. To remind you that the first winner is going to be getting 400,000 rand in francs. The next one is going to be getting 200,000 rand in francs. And then the third one, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be getting 100,000. Once again, I would like to thank the different companies and institutions that have put this together, and that's the Capital Market Authority, Rwanda Stock Exchange, and definitely EPRN with ISEC International. Now, if our protocols can also get a little bit closer. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, give me the names. I want to say them right. I don't want to say one name. So that Well, they're even on the check. So if at all you allow me, Mr. Marific, just a little bit here. I don't want you to get close to the executive director, deputy. The third one first. The third one first. And the winner is, the third winner is, the third winner is Mate de Murebuaire. Uh, <laughs> so, in the category of uh, essay writing, even individuals were allowed to participate. That's why uh, she's the second runner-up. Thank you. A hand of applause as she's joining to get her check, ladies and gentlemen. You can imagine how Capital Markets is so inclusive. Even ladies are winners. A hand of applause, ladies and gentlemen, once again, as she's getting her check once again. I don't want to be the, the, the photo bomber. Now, the next one is who is actually the first runner. -up. This one's good. And the second runner up is. She's uh, Mr. Martin Divine Muhire. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about inclusiveness in the country of Rwanda, but it's 
everywhere, even in the Capital Markets University Challenge, that's 200,000 Rwandan francs to be used in buying shares in the companies they want to buy from. So it's up to them to see which one they're going to be buying. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, who is the winner? Take a deep breath. And the winner is... The winner is... And the winner is... Anyone who can guess? <laughs> so the winner is uh, one of the group called... Brave Statistics Analysis Group. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, 100 reports. That team has, is coming for its 400,000 to be used in buying of shares. Ladies and gentlemen, this is CBE Weir team. A hand of applause once again, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that's really wonderful. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Capital Market University Challenge 2017. And it's been put together with Capital Markets Authority, the Randall Stock Exchange, and of course, EPRN, definitely with ISIC International. Now we're going to be awarding the quiz winners. Winner, first runner-up, and second runner-up. I'd like to request... The CEO of Rwanda Stock Exchange. As he's joining us, ladies and gentlemen, a hand of applause, Mr. Celestine Rao Kumba. If they can give me the second runner up. The second runner up. Ladies and gentlemen, take a deep breath. And the second runner-up is... Save for the future. A hand of applause once again, ladies and gentlemen. They deserve it. They've worked so hard to have the second runner up. It's been 48 teams. Thank you very much once again, ladies and gentlemen. Also, the first runner-up. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together as we welcome the first runner-up. That's Brave Statistics Analytics Analysis Club. A hand of applause once again, ladies and gentlemen. They deserve it. They've really worked so hard to be at that position. And as that is going to get done, take a deep breath. It's 
Smile to the pictures because 700,000 is worth the, a lot of shares, ladies and gentlemen. Me and you, we can't judge who is the bear and who is the bull. But at least the rankings of money can show you who is the bull and who is the bear. Special thanks goes to Mr. Celestine Rabkumba once again, ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome the executive director of CMA, Mr. Robert Mathu, to share the winning team trophy, ladies and gentlemen, a hundred proposals is joining us the podium, ladies and gentlemen. And the winner is Take a deep breath. <laughs> and the winner is the Super Savers of CAVM. The Super Savers of CAVM, ladies and gentlemen. A worthy one million check to buy shares in the companies that they want to buy from. It is the Capital Markets University Challenge 2017, the fourth edition. This university is the winner. The super servers of CAVM. Ladies and gentlemen, hand over prowls. Thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen, for that. And once again, we'd like to thank you very much for being part of this and part of this event. Now, what we're going to be having next is special thanks of sharing certificates to our sponsors. Uh, can we have uh, the certificates of our sponsors, please? Yes, it's being put together with the Capital Markets University Challenge. It's being put together by Capital Markets Authority, Runner Stock Exchange, EPRN, and of course, ISIC International. Now, I would like to share the certificates to Yeah, um, it's an honor to invite the Rwanda Stock Exchange. Rwanda Stock Exchange, ladies and gentlemen, a hand of applause. <laughs> Thank you very much, the photographers. Please take that beautiful photo. That is so beautiful. Once again, would like to award. It's a honor to call upon Economic Policy Research Network, EPRN. <laughs> EPRN, ladies and gentlemen, once again, a hand of applause to them for the beautiful work that is being done by EPRN. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, would like to honor the support of this team once again. Lastly, but not the least, we are honored to, to call upon Isaac. Isaac International, ladies and gentlemen. Yes.
Hey Isaac. Yes, I hear some powerful energy in the house. Yes, once again. Put your hands together as we thank you, Mr. Robert Matthew, for such a special sharing of honor to all the different partners in this university challenge of the fourth edition. Also to remind you that Mr. Robert Matthew is an ice seeker. A hand of applause to him once again, ladies and gentlemen. Now, without taking so long, ladies and gentlemen, you can feel some energy in the house of the young people from Isaac. I am a proud Isaacer. Mr. Robert Matthew is an alumni of this big network. And so many in this country that have been part of this. Don't forget that it's very important as a young person to be part of Isaac. With a lot of opportunities out there for young people through Isaac platform, come and test it. We've tested it. A hand of applause, ladies and gentlemen, as we're going to join all the different guests and delegates at the lunchtime. And this brings us to the closure of this ceremony, ladies and gentlemen. A hand of applause as we are finishing and I've been Rogers and Ziza Chimuli, the host of this beautiful, outstanding, so, 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 so fair University Challenge of 2017.